It's five o'clock somewhere. Come on in. Come on in. How y'all be? If you're watching the replay, go ahead and say hashtag replay. By the way, y'all, I think it is like perfect outside. Like it's like just 70. I think I should be outside one of these times, you know, like get out of, do y'all know I have no windows? <laughs> no windows like I've got walls and I've got shelving and I've got bookcases and I've got no windows up in here so I think I just really need me some sunshine especially since it's not sweltering out so all right friends did you see the announcement doTERRA is about to turn 16 that's right 16 years old and so they are doing a sweet 16 birthday celebration. I don't think they call it, I think they call it like an anniversary celebration or something. So the staples are 16% off tomorrow only. Tomorrow only. Okay. So you have your lemon, lavender, and peppermint, nature's best antihistamine. Did I tell y'all? I'm not sure if I told y'all this. Um, my kids are literally responding horribly over here. Like they all are suffering from allergies. And so we have been constantly doing nature's best antihistamine. Then my sweet little baby, I know I haven't told you all this. He actually, I think we have our first ear infection in the house. Now it's over now, praise God. But Sunday, it was so awful. It, he was not doing hot. Um, he cried all night. I had to, once I figured it out, cause I didn't know he was crying. Um, we got to cease the pain and then we just got to really minister to the ear all Sunday. Um, and then it was interesting cause his teacher like texted me Monday saying, I think his ear is bothering him. And I'm like, sister, had you seen him yesterday? He wouldn't have even been at school. So we knocked that out real fast. So lemon, lavender, peppermint for the allergies. And then of course for the, um, ear infection, you've got the lavender, which ceases the pain, the tea tree, which ministers to the infection. Both of those are on sale because lemon, lavender, peppermint, tea tree. Now we did use basil. If you have basil, use basil at any time. I don't think I've ever necessarily had an ear infection, but you know, sometimes ear aches happen and you're like, ah, oh. drop or two of basil on a cotton ball or a tissue inserted in the ear. Basil is so, so good when it comes to ear aches, ear pain, ear infection, ugh, basil. So anyways, that's not, that's not one of the sweet 16, um, oils, but I want to make sure you guys knew about that. And by the way, while I'm on basil, sorry, it's not discounted, but you guys got to know basil is incredible when it comes to adrenal fatigue. So if you are somebody who feels like your adrenals are just taxed, first and foremost, you should be doing the power pack. The power pack that is your orange sachet the advantage the pb assist sachet and the electrolytes okay pick your flavor whatever you wish put them all together drink them power pack okay or power punch whatever you want to call it um but with the adrenals if you feel very taxed you can just do some basil in an empty gel cap and pop it like a pill. Not only will you feel energized, you can do it in the morning, you can do it in the afternoon, but it will really aid those adrenals. Okay. So basil, not even one of our expensive oils, but so, so effective when it comes to that. Okay. So just a little tip and a trick. And then the final one, my friends, the final oil that is an extra 16% off tomorrow only that's April 25th. So if you're watching the replay, and it is Thursday morning. Hey, it's sell day. Yes. Um, so frankincense. Okay. So right here, if I were going to put together, let me put together a couple little combos just off the cuff for you. Okay. So you have lemon, lavender, peppermint as nature's best antihistamine. You have lavender and tea tree for any type of ear infections, ear aches. You have lemon when it comes to post nasal drip or just really needing to, sometimes people talk about fluid on the ears, fluid on the lungs. Okay. Lemon is going to zap any fluid, right? Now you can pair that with peppermint and you can open the airways as you zap the fluid. Okay. So these are just insanely versatile peppermint. Great for when it comes with headaches. Summer is almost here. You are going to make yourself a little bit of water and a spray bottle with some peppermint spritz yourself at the pool. Keep yourself cool. You can also drink peppermint. It will cool you from the inside out. Peppermint with lemon together in water kills parasites. 
you have your tea tree, which is nature's, um, or excuse me, the skin antibiotic. All right. So you've got tea tree and lavender when it comes to bumps and scrapes and bruises and cuts. You've got frankincense, which is the king of all oils. Go ahead and just rub a drop into uh, either your scalp or on the spine of your neck. Incredible when it comes to just mental clarity. Great when it comes to just neurological systems. Bottom of the feet so they can get in every cell. Frankincense is the one that we, you guys, I could literally teach on these five for the next like 90 minutes. I'm like fire hosing y'all, right? So frankincense creates apoptosis in the body. So apoptosis is a fancy word for saying that frankincense goes to every cell in your body. It looks at every single cell and the ones that are healthy, it feeds so they thrive. The ones that are not healthy or maybe mutated, it kicks them to the curb. You do not want mutated cells in your body. So frankincense, you can use it on the bottom of your feet, you can use it on the spine of your neck, you can drop it under your tongue right there and just hold and then swallow. Incredible when it comes to just overall DNA cellular health, okay? Then let's talk about by day. You can diffuse a peppermint, frankincense, lemon. What a great combination for just, again, energizing, uplifting, invigorating. And then at bedtime, you can diffuse lavender. You can diffuse uh frankincense. You could add some tea tree if you're not feeling so good. It won't really, it's not my favorite smell anyway, but crazy effective when it comes to combating pathogens in the air. You have peppermint, which is great for memory retention. You have a lemon, which is not only great in your water to get those um, pathogens out of your system so that you can dispose of them in the restroom, but also, again, you just have that gentle cleanse. I love to make the tea, right? So hopefully you have some doTERRA cinnamon on you and you just make that local raw honey, warm water, lemon, cinnamon. You pick your ratio. I tend to like about three drops of cinnamon, one, excuse me, whoa, <laughs> three drops of lemon, one drop of cinnamon, or sometimes four drops of lemon, two drops of cinnamon. Totally depends on the size of your mug. You got a massive giant one. Um, so there's just so many things and all of them are discounted okay so it's the 15 milliliter for each and every one your lavender will come at just at these are wholesale prices discounted so you have wholesale and then you have the sale tomorrow april 25th uh you have the lavender at just above 24 dollars. you have the lemon at 13 dollars. you have the peppermint at just under 22 dollars. the frankincense at just right at $66, and then the tea tree right there just under $22. So again, not sure which of those um, are kind of bing, like you need you or you want or you want to stock up, but tomorrow would be your day for that. Lastly, before I leave you, I would love to take a poll. So my question to you is, if you had the choice of winning one of these room sprays, which would you choose? Huga. Oh, can you guys see? Man, there. Huga. Adaptive. Man, you can't see at all. Or Serenity. Which one? If you were to get one, have access to one, snag one, thumbnail one, which one is calling your name? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna check my laptop just to see if there are any comments because you know how Facebook, Facebook don't like to show me nothing. So let me go ahead and see if we can do a loud and clear shout out. Hey, hey. The sale, April 25th. If there's a topic on your radar, let me know. If there is an oil you wanna learn about or that you are just like, it's on your wish list, let us know. That would be so fun. And I think actually, this is the final time I will come to you in April. Can you believe that? So we are gonna be, I believe next Wednesday is May 1st. So we'll be in a brand new month. Love when Wednesdays land on um a brand new month because we get to talk about whatever doTERRA wants to share with us. So have an incredible rest of your day. Have an incredible weekend. If you have any questions, put them below. And of course, let me know about the poll. Which one be calling your name?